Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection December 25, 2021 Christmas The Nativity of Our Lord Vigil Mass Readings We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 1 to 5. For Zion's sake I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication. And all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord. A royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken. Or your land desolate. But you shall be called my delight. And your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 89 verse 4 to 5, 16 to 17, 27 and 29 Let our response be, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Response. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Response. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Response. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Second reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. ACTS chapter 13 verse 16 to 17 and 22 to 25. When Paul reached Antioch and Pisidia and entered the synagogue, he stood up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow Israelites and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm he led them out of it. Then he removed Saul and raised up David as king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants God, according to his promise has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The Word of the Lord Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 to 25. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. 
when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary your wife into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel In Luke's Gospel, the story of the infancy of Jesus centers around Mary. However, in the Gospel of Matthew, the infancy of Jesus centers around Joseph, the promised spouse of Mary. Joseph was a descendant of David. Through him, Jesus belongs to the line of David. Thus, in Jesus, the promises made by God to David and his descendants are fulfilled. As seen in yesterday's Gospel relating to the genealogy of Jesus, there was something unusual in the marital unions of the five women mentioned. Today's Gospel shows Mary to be something of a companion to these women. Her union with Joseph is also abnormal, and contrary to the laws of the time, because she was pregnant before living with Joseph. Neither the people, nor the future husband, knew the origin of this pregnancy. If Joseph had the same idea of justice as held by the scribes and Pharisees, he would have denounced Mary. The penalty she would have suffered would have been death by stoning. Joseph, however, shows a different manner of justice. He practiced what Jesus would later teach, namely, that if your uprightness does not surpass that of the scribes and Pharisees you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. For this reason, Joseph, not understanding the facts and not wanting to repudiate Mary, decided to leave her in secret. In the Bible, the discovery of God's call takes place in different ways. Joseph succeeded in seeing the significance of what was taking place in Mary by means of a dream. In his sleep, an angel uses the Bible to clarify the origin of Mary's pregnancy. It came from the action of the Spirit of God. When everything was clear for Mary, she says Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. When everything was clear for Joseph, he takes Mary as his spouse and they went to live together. Thanks to the justice of Joseph, Mary was not put to death and Jesus continued to live in her womb. In the eyes of the scribes, the justice of Joseph would be disobedience. Is there a message for us in this? How do you discover the call of the Word of God in your life? For God rescues the needy who call to Him and the poor who have no one to help. He has pity on the weak and the needy, and saves the needy from death.